He's uh, booting around in the bathroom. Booting around in the bathroom. I'm deciding on where to put my phone. Ah, under the heat lamp. Sitting down. Yeah. I'm having uh, my coffee, my post-lunch coffee. Sitting beside the toilet. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sitting in the laundry room. This is the uh, bathroom. Come here. I can reach that. Okay. I would close that if I uh, could reach up there, but that's all right. What was that sound? He seems to be eating more. I noticed him eating yesterday. My husband noticed him eating today. We eat all the time, you should eat. Okay, good. Seems to have gotten down into his chow there. We had some excitement here yesterday. The cats caught a mouse. Yes, they caught a mouse. And it was dead. So they must have tossed it around like crazy. I didn't see any bite marks. No, nothing obvious, no blood. <clears throat> but it was quite startling. I was impressed and pleased because that mouse had been making noise around here for weeks. I was here at the corner. We hear it here. And it's, well, at that point before we let them back into the basement, it couldn't get at it. <clears throat> but I think since we have let them back, they have access to the basement. That's how they got it. So it's somewhere between inaccessible between walls. So behind that wall, no, there's nothing. No, in the other wall. So it was it was down in the basement, up into the walls. We don't have a lot of mice, but every now and then one gets in. And you must have had a place to sit because the cats heard it over here all the time and I even heard it. My husband heard it. Noisy mouth. Blew it because the cats found it. So I grabbed it from them yesterday and put it in the compost. Probably shouldn't have. I don't think you're supposed to put meat in the compost, but maybe. Mm. That goes into the, yeah, sure. I'm working on the end of term few weeks. We're doing listening, speaking, assessment, reading, writing. Actually, it's speaking, assessment, and then listening, reading, and writing. But I'm putting the two together. Mm. It's lovely sitting on the floor here. It's so warm. 
so toasty. No wonder the cats spend a lot of time in here. And then they don't. And then they don't. You don't see Ellie all day. You don't see Aggie all day. And they show up at the end of the day. Lloyd spends a lot of time on the couch in the living room. I really hope I get a lot more done today because I have a busy day tomorrow. My friend Michelle is coming. We're getting together for coffee in the morning. Um, usually we go to a coffee place down downtown. I'm going to tell her no. We're going to go to Tim Hortons because I've got so many Tim Hortons cards. Sorry, Michelle. Coffee culture, too bad. My coffee culture is Tim Hortons. We went to a snobby restaurant that she liked last time. I'm sorry. If you're gonna go to a snobby restaurant, at least go to a good one. This one was not. No, I didn't like the food. I didn't like the food. So, I'm not gonna be snobby about coffee. But I like Tim Hortons and I've got free Tim Hortons cards and I don't care what you if you're gonna pay for it. I like Tim Hortons coffee better than coffee culture. It's like Starbucks. Starbucks doesn't have stronger or better coffee. They just have coffee that tastes different. It tastes burnt. People think that this is stronger coffee. It's not. It's burnt. It's more roasted. It's a different kind of coffee. I'm not into burnt coffee. I'm sure I'll be fine. It's just the Saturday morning thing, getting into it. And the worrying about the PBLA. Two tasks, two tasks, two tasks. Soon I'm going to have to do tasks in every single class. Shortly. Not just one morning class. Or I have implemented to be like. Hey, where are you guys? Robbie? Christopher? Christopher made a video a while ago. Nothing from Robbie. Quiet, quiet. Has he got like a really time consuming job? Or, you know, what's happening? Curious. I miss the fun and games of the two of those guys. So I got gifts yesterday. We got gifts for my daughter and my sister-in-law. Actually, not not many gifts for my daughter or my daughter because my daughter's getting money. She wants IKEA money. They want to get a hutch for their house. I might, yeah. So we'll give them money. Give her money. But I hate the idea of just giving her money and nothing else. How disappointing is that? I was a child. I know about gifts. At any age, you want to get a gift. Getting an envelope with money is no problem. I like that too. But some little thing is nice. My sister-in-law, we got her a candle. A nice candle holder. She has a new house. It's a sort of a birthday gift 
housewarming gift. My daughter. Cute little thermometer. Glass thermometer. Oh. Just something, you know? It's a gesture. Not just here, have some money. Go get yourself a hutch. No. My son texted yesterday. He broke his glasses. I said, oh, okay. Well, now you'll find out how expensive Korean glasses are. Or, oh, here are your sunglasses for a few months. <laughs> I'll be back in March. He says, well, I did bring my old glasses. In the, you know, thinking that this was perhaps an eventuality. A possibility. Yeah. Are there any old glasses? Yes. But he's going to look into Korean glasses. I should just love me crunching away here. Heidi is directly under her lamps, under his lamps. Just basking. That's what they call it. Basking. Well, here you go. Lunch done. Basking too. My butt is basking on the heated floor. He's enjoying himself in the warmth. You never catch him. I never catch him with his feet raised up. I want to show it to you. He was just doing it. Lifting his legs, going, ah, but no. It does see his rear end now. Okay, well. He hasn't eaten much. He hasn't made much of a mess yet. He will. It is nothing if not messy. Hey, he's a tortoise.